Now, the story has struck a chord, especially with specialists at agencies designed to assist pregnant women and teens. They want people to know that there are options. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus explains tonight with another view. A police report detailing the fear and despair of a pregnant Kimberly teen comes as no surprise to local pregnancy help centers. Your heart just goes out to them. They, some will break down. Um, they're just confused by what society bombards them with. Dr. Amy Sheckler with Green Bay's ANA Alexandrina Center says an unplanned pregnancy can leave women feeling trapped. Their families leave them, their boyfriend leaves them, they'll disown them. They don't feel they have a choice. And um, we need to empower and enrich them to know that they have uh, worth and dignity. Sheckler says the center offers free ultrasounds, pregnancy tests, and guidance. The center is free, confidential, and serves about 12 women each day. Volunteers say it's one of many resources in the area, including hospitals like St. Vincent, where maternity staff want people to know they are a safe haven. Drop the baby off, we'll take the baby, care for the baby, no questions asked. Police and fire stations will do the same. For 10 years now, mothers have also been able to deliver at the hospital. They're given anonymity and important medical care. The mother is completely held in a confidential state. In fact, some people use an alias in the hospital. Nursing so Director Bonnie Tudeberg hopes what allegedly happened in Kimberly starts conversations. It could have all been prevented. And she says no one needs to face pregnancy alone. In Green Bay, Lindsay Vermes, Fox 11 News. St. Vincent Hospital also says its staff is trained to accept newborns without questions and without asking for any identification. However, the staff will give out a health and medical questionnaire. Filling out that form is optional.